Hello everybody, I have uh, been out of town for a few days and my pool is in need of a sweeping. So I've got my pool vacuum out here that I've made a video on previously. Uh, it's a little dirty here, not too bad, but it does need a sweeping. And uh, the main reason I'm making this video is that my previous videos on how to use the pool vacuum uh, set up here, you know, have all been, uh, you know, they've been okay. And, but I have one really big thing that I've learned from my subscribers or my watchers. And it was just such an obvious answer to a problem is that the pool vacuum is not gonna work with the hose floating. Uh, it's because of the air in the hose. And so my previous solution was to, you know, hook the hose up to the to the uh, skimmer over there on the back side of the pool and run the backwash and keep doing that a couple times until until it, until the until the vacuum worked. And then uh, my second solution on my second video was to unhook these little connections right here and to let some water in that way. And that did work. You know, it was something I went through every couple of sections and I just pushed it under the water and I let, let water in that way. But <clears throat> there is an easier solution and that is to use the return on the side of the pool here on the inside of the pool, the water return and all you need to do is, and this is several people suggested this, is there's my little water spout right there for the return water that's coming in from the filter back here, right? So just hold the hose uh, to the vacuum before you connect it. You know, just hold it with the water uh, return right there and the water will blast through the hose and it should go all the way out the bottom of the uh, of the vacuum there. And once that's done, the hose is pretty much filled up with water because you just blasted it through there with the return. Then after you do that, then you can go ahead and you know hook it up like you normally would. Pull out your basket, empty out your basket, and hook it up that way. So that's probably been one of the mo more uh, useful tips that my community members have shared with me. So I really appreciate that. And uh, I'm gonna try to pin that on my other videos because that's a really obvious and useful tip. So so obvious staring you right there in the face. Now I think one thing that probably prevented me from maybe figuring that out in the past or doing that in the past is I frequently have my uh, pool, vac uh, pool fountain hooked up. And so I don't like to uh, disconnect the pool fountain, but right now the pool fountain has been disconnected for a while, but there's a little, there's a little hose that goes to the return out to the middle of the pool. And, you know, I have my tear fountain that sprays up in the air and everything, but I haven't had that hooked up. So right now, no reason not to, to, to use the little trick here. So go ahead and try that with your pool vacuum, or if you're a manual hose, or a big solid hose, just any hose that's floating on top of the water, just stick it in that return and blast that water through it. Then everything should work fine. So, hope that helps you. Thanks for watching. Hope your pool season's going good.